In many cases, SADC countries share similar experiences with hidden debt and poorly managed state-owned entities, which ultimately affects the broader economy negatively. Yet, there's been very few effective conversations in the region about mutual lessons, for instance. This is one of the conferences that aim to put an end to that. This gathering aims to provide a platform for civil society groups, members of parliaments, development specialists, think tanks and technical experts to consider recent developments with sovereign borrowings in southern and eastern African countries. To also consider approaches to support knowledge capacity for civil society and members of parliaments to engage on sovereign debt in their respective countries. A number of speakers here zoned in on the issue of servicing foreign debt by African states. Debt sustainability is becoming an issue. Um, the rise in the size of the debt uh, as a percentage of GDP has moved from 30% to 46% uh, between 2013 and 2017. Um, this is worsening the debt servicing capacity of most African countries and uh, it has increased um, uh, the risk uh, or, uh, due to the changing debt characteristics. Uh, also, 18 of the African countries are facing high, high debt risk. A political economic think tank focused on regional integration in the SADC region as well as the African continent broadly believes that growth in debt is not necessarily a negative trait. What governments end up doing is they end up getting caught in a race of growing out of debt rather than servicing the debt or clearing debt, clearing arrears. And the idea is that so long as they sit, uh, I mean, in the SADC region, the target that collectively set is 60% of GDP. And the idea is that so long as governments can maintain that specific uh, prudential ratio, they're fine. Growth in debt is not necessarily a negative thing, particularly if governments are borrowing to invest in infrastructure and the idea is that that investment in infrastructure will then result in economic returns down the line in order to ensure servicing of the debt. A number of trends that are affecting the development efforts on the continent were also highlighted here. The rise of new players in the global economic order, be it not just China, but also Russia, Brazil, and <coughs> India especially. There's also the new industrial revolution, Industry 4.0, that is allowing new uh, ways of producing uh, with different actors involved. There's also climate change, which even though Africa has only contributed about 4% of greenhouse gases, uh, many African countries are severely affected by the uh, global warming. The conference also heard that recent developments with rapid debt accumulation and hidden debt in some of the key Southern African countries require urgent regional responses to address common challenges. Vilisan Jamela for CGTN in Midrand, South Africa.